Nigeria recently celebrated 19 years of uninterrupted democratic system of government and we celebrated May Day which is a kind of an observance of this uh, democracy in Nigeria. And quite a good number of people have been asking who contributed in ensuring a nascent democracy if we have. Welcome to Good Morning Anambra. In this edition, we want to talk about judiciary and legislature in a democracy. Manye, we want to say welcome to you. You're already here, so there is no need to say. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Anambra today. And we've been joined here by Honorable Dr. E.K. Chuku Ume, member representing Aguata One constituency in the State House of Assembly. We want to say welcome. Thank you. Welcome I here. also know that you are Ike Russia. Yes. Are you from Russia? No, I lived in Russia 20 years. 20 years. Wow. Yeah. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm also aware that you are Diku Noga. Yes, Diku Noga. Diku Noga. Noga. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Want to say welcome to the morning. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> okay. You belong to the Okay. You belong to the uh, House of Assembly, and then which means automatically you are on the legislative arm of uh, government. Yes. Now we want to talk about this judiciary and legislature. So far, so good. 19 years keep running. What is this, uh, um, uh, the synergy between your uh, responsibility and the judiciary so far in the democratic dispensation? Um, the House of Assembly is invested with the power to make laws. And these laws, after making it, there are people that have to interpret it. These are the judiciary. They interpret the law, they interpret the constitution, they make sure that the laws that we pass will be carried on by the executive in the right way. So, the judiciary and people that interpret this law and make sure that the laws are the right one and they don't compete with the, uh, the constitution of the Federal Republic like in Anambra State now. There are laws we will do, the judiciary will caution us that this thing will, confl will be conflicting with some of the laws that are in our constitution because constitution is the supreme law of the land. So, in order to do this, we have to work together with the judiciary because they interpret the law. They know the right time that we are going the wrong way and they will direct us. So we make the law and they interpret it. That's exactly and the way we work how together. actually would you describe your relationship knowing that from your submission you can't do without the judiciary? Yes. You see in Anambra State things are working so well. It's not um, that only one arm of government that is making it to work. Because most of the time, sir, uh, we give all glories to executives. There are people that are still working at the background, like the judiciary, like the legislators. We tell them, if we start making problems or we cre uh, start creating one, there's no way the executives will work. So we have to work together, the judiciary, the executive, the legislator. If they start working and things start going well, the state is moving forward. Now, for example, let me give you an example. Aboko DK is our governor right now. He's doing well, and the, we in the legislature, we found out that he's doing well. So we are giving him enabling laws. Like, for example, recently, there was, um, um, recently, the, there was clearing of rules and the other things in Anambra State. We had to make that law. We have the enabling law. Governor cannot wake up one day and start clearing the roads, um, all those roadblocks. He cannot start doing them. But we have to give him enabling law for him to do it. So that is exactly what I'm saying. Now, oftentimes, uh, people who are, uh, belong to the masses will always say that uh, there is a, a kind of a delay in passage of most of these bills, or maybe uh, putting uh, issues that bothers on the masses as law. 
For instance, you talk about clearing of the roads and the rest of them. Now, they say that it takes a long time for that to take place. Uh, does it mean that the, the legislature is not, uh, 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 maybe they are waiting on the executive to really kickstart it before they, they come up with something? No. You see, law is something you make for all the people. And you don't get up one day and make law. We have, when you bring, for example, you bring a motion, or there is a, a bill in the house, the bill has to pass first reading. After first reading, it comes up for second reading. This is the time. That second reading, we debate, we ask, we go for public hearing. Then after public hearing, it goes for third reading. It's after that third reading, we pass it. Then after the passage, passage of the law, we send it to the governor for his assent. So this is, you delay. Because laws are things, documents you keep for a very long time. It's not something you repeal every day. So because of it, you have to take time. You read books about it. You think about things that are around it. If you make laws hurriedly, you make mistakes. Tomorrow you start making corrections. So you need time to study, to go inside books and read things about that law. So that when we come to debate, you will be able to make some inputs that are good for the law. If not, after making the law, it will not last one or two years. You start seeing problems. Like, for example, you can see today, Nigerian constitution, people are calling for changing of the constitution because there are parts of it that are not in conformity with what people want. Because the, the constitution seems to have been done hurriedly. But if you, you go through the whole system and through all the system that is supposed to go, like first reading, second reading, third reading, and it goes for um, public hearing, we call the people that are concerned, people that know things, because we, in the house, we have people in different departments that can contribute. But there are people that are working with those laws that will give you more insight in it. Yeah, that is, that's where I, I, I really want to come in. The committees to have various committees that take care of what and uh, maybe bring their motion to the floor. Of the house. Yes, that is what I'm saying. That is why we go for public hearing. In that public hearing, we make sure we invite all the public that are connected to that law so that the people that are working with it, they know where the laws are right and where it go wrong. So with it, they give us information. It's not a must that we must use all the things they brought in. But we must use what they put in because they are the people that this laws touch. Um, personally. So, with their the help, we can always put laws that will last long, that All right. will not be changed. Uh, honorable, uh, from your submission, yeah. uh, I, I know, it, 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 is it possible you can do anything without the judiciary? Is it possible you can execute, do any law at all without the judiciary coming in? Yes. Well, I, I'm see, uh, this law, um, when we are doing bill, because is the bill that we pass into law. So, is the stage of that bill we involve the judiciary. Because there are the people that know the law. When you are writing it, you have to involve the judiciary so that you don't make mistakes. All, all right, now how does these roads, you know, complement each other to affect the common man positively? That is why I'm telling you, you have to go to the side function. After working with the judiciary and produce the bill, because bill is the paper, documents that we pass into law. When it's still not a law, it's called bill. So when you're preparing the bill, like now, I might want to write a bill about something. Let me take an example about child, child rights. I start writing the bill. There's a stage if we reach, I will not know exactly what the law says here and what the law says here. I, I need the consent of a lawyer, the judiciary. To tell me what to do and they will direct me for me to bring it to the house so that it can be acceptable because we have a lot of lawyers in the house so when we bring it to the um, to the house if it is not in conformity with the bill the house will not pass I, I, invariably has there been a time you clash with the judiciary in making your laws no there has um 
what I'm telling you, this law they have to pass through the judiciary before it gets to us. The bill because you 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 make the law, yes. and the judiciary will interpret. Understand now, what? I, I, assuming now you make the law, and the judiciary they say, look, what you've done, and what I said, challenges, challenges. Yeah, let's go into that. No, no, that is Has there been any time? No, no, no. it can't be because this is our rights. Are you saying you can't no. have challenges? Working no, together? because let, even in let me explain to you right. what I'm saying. All right. For example, we have the right to make laws. I told you before. Like, for example, if you make laws that are not in tandem with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you shouldn't have to tell you this is not right because this is the spring law. Okay. And they are doing things that are not. Is that the only time the judiciary will reject whatever law you've made? No. When it doesn't conform with the Constitution of the country? That's not the only way. Okay, which other way can the judiciary reject and then you have conflict with them? We don't have conflicts. There is nothing like conflicts in this. You see, we are working together. We are, we are making laws. We have lawyers. Oh, we okay. do consider, okay, okay, let, let me not let use me conflict. Let me use face off. <laughs> there are no first off. There are no first off. Because, because, because I know that at the same time, the executive and the judiciary will kind of have face off. Even the legislature will also have face off with the executive. Because yes. the executive will say, look, this is what I want. And the legislature will see that and say, no, that is not what we want. This is how we want it. See, it's obvious. In the house of assembly now, yes. we have at least, out of the 30 people, we have at least 10 lawyers there. And we have a committee on judiciary. Like now, if we are doing law and have any problem along the way, the speaker will call the house to send it to committee on the judiciary. The committee on judiciary have to consult the judiciary arm, and the, the law will be solved before any conflict. You see, the eh, um, system of government is in such a way that there shouldn't be any conflict if things are working well. Uh, in other words, let, let, let me think that in uh, uh, Anambra State uh, Legislature, uh, there is no uh, conflict between the legislators and the judiciary. Yes. We're so glad. No, we're so no glad I want to explain that. something. You okay. see, in see, this system, mm. it's in such a way there shouldn't be any problem. It's when people decided to create problems. You start having this before. There's nothing like that. We have a judiciary arm in our business. We have committee that is working with the judiciary. We go there, we resolve the problem. And bring it back. The other committees in the house will not even know what happened. Only that if there's any problem, they will call us to order. Say this thing is not going the right way. Then the speaker will send it to judiciary arm of House of Assembly, the committee. The committee will meet the judiciary. Okay, any any challenge in trying to put together your laws? Oh, oh, okay, we'll take care of that when we we'll come back uh, for a short break. We are still talking about judiciary and the legislature in a democracy. We want to take a short break. When we come back, we'll continue with the discussion. Stay with us. We want to say welcome back. Ceylon, good morning, and I'm Brian. What we are talking is judiciary and legislature in a democracy. We still have in the House Honorable Dr. E.K. Chuku Ume. I.K. Russia, member representing Aguatawan constituency in the State House of Assembly. Yes, we say, uh, say welcome, and we're still talking about uh, judiciary and legislature. Thank you me. are a legislator in uh, 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 Anambra State House of Assembly, yeah. and we are talking about uh, maybe oh, well, the challenge. That, you know, we, you, you, we want to know the challenges. The challenges you, you have to mm. put up your laws, laws, and actually how. You go about confronting the challenges. Yeah, the challenges we have is sometimes some of the bills um, will not be in tandem with the constitution, or sometimes you make laws that is very harsh with the people that the laws are meant for. Then we need to go back to the judiciary. Sometimes they want it to be harsh, or sometimes they want it to be. Um, not too harsh to the people, but people in the house that are debating, you know, we have we are people from different constituencies. We have people that we ask, we meet, we do town hall meetings, we ask questions. What do they want? 
some constituency we want, like now, let me give you exa a, a concrete example. Like in a road now, maybe there's an accident in an area and killed a lot of people at a time. So because of it, those people want an umbrella to have roadblocks, every, uh, road bombs everywhere because they had accidents recently. But people in the other area, where they know that they need the road to flow, they don't want those road bombs. So they don't want the laws to be too steep. So they want to reduce it. Then if you come to the house, our work now as our um, legislators is to argue and come to a common front. We can make a law into a bill. Um, we can make a bill into a law within one month. It can last two years. Depending on what we are doing. Let me give you a concrete example. When we do law on our child brigade, it was not an easy law. We had a lot of issues because the um, the people that wrote the bill arrogated a lot of powers to them. That even they, if we made that law the way it came, it could have been stronger than they could have been stronger than police in Anambra State. They, um, there are some there are some law enforcement agencies again we have in Anambra State, but they arrogated themselves all the powers to themselves. So what should we do? We start reducing it, consulting the judiciary with the law. So after that, we, we, we brought out a law that every, it was acceptable to everybody. And they, even the child get people, we are happy. A number of people, we are happy. And they're working now, and they're not disturbing anybody. But if we, we, we have already passed the, that bill to law, the way it was, ha, a number of people have been in a war state because every day all the law enforcement agencies will be fighting with each other. So this are the uh, okay, okay, recently there are, there are certain uh, uh, bills you people have uh, uh, propounded and uh, maybe it has not been passed as a law, but uh, it's still uh, going some stages. Yes. And uh, you come to realize that maybe the masses of those who are involved are still waiting for uh, its implementation, but we probably try to pass it so that people will start benefiting from it. Let me give you an example. The law of not uh, uh, erecting a filling station within residential areas. And I, I, I believe recently that thing came into the House of Assembly and they made some pronouncement concerning that. Do you have any kind of uh, face up between the judiciary and implementation of all these? Uh, uh, no, that particular law. We have problem with it. Why? Because we are not the people that are supposed to make that law. It's a federal law. So we cannot start duplicating laws that are already being produced by the federation. Now, now what we are talking here is not just state legislature now. We are talking about the judiciary and the legislature in a democracy. So as a legislator, you are in the house. Now, when you make laws, or rather propound a, a particular bill, who can the executive and the judiciary say, look, we don't want you to, to get into that. And would that raise the matter there? No. There's no way. Um, we are independent. We are authorities in different fields. Our own is to make that law. And the judiciary is to interpret it. So far, it's not conflicted. We have right to do any law we want to do in the house. Then the judiciary, their law, is, their own is to interpret it for the executive to work with. Okay, now in this case, on the one we are talking about, yes. erecting a filling station within, they say it's a federal. Yes. So. It's a federal law. Like now, let me give you for example now. There's a, a filling station they are citing at Ibuku right now, inside the market. We have to, and we stood up against it, and now the filling station is demolished. There's one day um, where they wanted to cite um, this gas station. Somewhere at the nature. The, the state assembly. Now, is it possible that the owner or the individual involved can use the judiciary to attack you on that uh, uh, pronouncement or whatever? No, we cannot conflict because we are seeing the problem. Like now, I give you an example. A free session is being cited at the center of the market. You know what will happen if there's any problem there? You know how many people that will die? It's not right. There are laws that are abiding them. Even the judiciary, they will fight against it. Because there are the people that will interpret the law. But why we are talking about it that we have, we can stand up in the house and talk about against anything and the people that are concerned 
would always, the law enforcement agency, you can call them. Because maybe they did not see it. We are coming from different constituencies of Anambra State. Like, let me give you for example. I'm coming from Oga. If I'm coming from Oga, somebody is coming from uh, Mamich. Somebody is coming from here. People are coming from different places. They, they know what is happening in different locality. Immediately we enter Anambra State House of Assembly. We are discussing about the whole Anambra State. Because we are seeing the whole Anambra State as it is. So we can bring any problem that is from any locality at that moment. I will discuss it in the House. All right. Uh, Honorable, a democracy have really tried from 1999 till date. You know, how would you assess uh, your relationship with the judiciary this 19 years? <laughs> What's your uh, assessment? <laughs> uh, let me say the assessment should be about 60-70%. Uh, Why do I say that? Because when we started, uh, people, you know, um, this uh, democracy, we are learning every day and we are growing. The stage we are this year is not the stage we are um, 10 years ago when this thing started. Now we are more understanding each other. For example, the assigned judiciary can overflow. So I'm um, um, legislator, legislator overflows their powers to the executive. There are some little conflicts. But now things are not as they were then when we started. Now things are more pronounced. We know our different functions now. Everybody is on his own function. You can consult, you can talk, but you cannot double it into another person's um, field now. For example, the right of making law is the legislature. The right of interpreting it is the judiciary. The right of executing it is the executive. So I cannot start executing the law now. I will come to the streets and start using my power as a legislator and start executing law. I have not that power. I cannot interpret. I make laws. The judiciary interprets as executive execute. So everybody knows. Okay, 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 okay. Recently, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 there's a follow up to that. Uh, you know that uh, uh, from what you said, we, we can see there is an improvement over yes, the years. Yes, oh, okay. we are learning now. Okay, now how has it really helped in enthroning democracy? You know, at, at least the common man can boldly walk up to you and say that I will get access to my legislator. You know knowing that they work together with the judiciary, whatever I want, I will get at least fair hearing from me. How has it helped? Yes. You see the masses, like for example, the way I act as a legislator today is not what the people that started it are doing. Today, I am answerable to people. They call me, they ask me, what are you doing? I must, be, I must come to town hall meetings. I'm telling you what I'm doing in the house. How often do you hold these town hall meetings? At least in a year, you have to do town hall meetings at least twice. Have you done that for how? Yes. How long? I've been doing it. I'm um, this year. I'm um, the second time now. Oh. I've been with people, and uh, uh, their support has been around me because uh, the way I'm working with them, my house is open. Any legislator can call my phone now. I will answer him. I don't have right to say no. Or he comes to my house with a problem. Okay. Honorable, we are talking about judiciary and the legislature. Recently, we uh, observed what happened both nationally and uh, on state level, where there is a discordant tune existing within the uh, National Assembly. The maze was taken away, and here at the House of Assembly, we also noted that there was a time the, you see members of the House having some uh, skirmishes, issues. Could it be an undue interference of the executive or the judiciary in this uh, kind of situation? This is what I told you before. I said, all the arms of government know their powers and their rights, but sometimes people tend to take the powers of others. Things are not done the right way when people decide to do problems or create problems where they are not. The laws, the, uh, the, the three arms of government, are, all of them have their own powers and their own works. It's worse place. But sometimes, the executive, because of they are the executive, they are the people that are executing, they are the people that have the money, sometimes tend to infringe on the right of the legislature. 
So, are, are you saying it's possible that executive can infringe on the right, uh, that executive or the judiciary can infringe on the responsibility of the legislature? Is it possible? It's possible. That is why you see conflicts. But conflicts cannot be if everybody knows his right and know the right thing is supposed but to But the do. legislature is supposed to function independently, right? Yes. That is why we are asking for the independence of the legislator. Now we don't have it. For example, the House of Assemblies, um, it has passed, but I don't think that it has ascended to the, so that we can be independent. Like the judiciary now are independent, but the legislature are not independent yet. So, uh, but we are asking for it so that we can make the law we're supposed to do. We do things the way it's supposed to be. And uh, when you have the, this uh, independency, you can always act within the ambit of the law. Now, when, when members of the House, the legislature, have issues, uh, whose uh, uh, tune would they dance to? The, the, legislate, uh, the judiciary or the executive? For instance, the removal of the speaker, or maybe bringing in individuals uh, you know, within uh, to serve on various committees. Uh, uh, we don't dance to anybody. We have our own laws. We are quite independent, although we are not fully independent because uh, the, the money, uh, we don't have our own budget. That's the only why we are not independent. But in other things, we are still independent. Uh, we have our speaker. We elect our speaker. If our speaker is not doing well, we are able to remove our speaker. If the committee is uh, it's not working well. It's the power of the speaker to change the committees. Uh, actually, from your earlier submission, you know, you made us to understand that you are not totally independent. Mm. And yes, what, what, uh, what do you think is the consequence of not being independent as you ought to be as legislators? Well, what I mean that we are not independent because we don't have our budget. What's the consequence of that? The consequence of that is that not every time we can do all we want to do in the house. We are still dependent um, to the executives. Because the executives are the people that are providing us with all the means we use in running our system. And the person that <laughs> have this in the tune. The, the tune. Because that's what I want to ask. Yeah, because the, the person pipe. that pays the piper detects the, the tune. tune. So are you are you influenced? Not the way you are seeing it. We are still, like now, the way you are asking me now, for example, um, governor cannot bring a bill to the house to be passed. He decides for us how we will pass it. He cannot. But for the fact that he pays you, can't tell no, you no, 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 he cannot. I want it. He and this is whom I want to be there. No, he don't meddle into it. There is no way he can do that. We decide, we make our lot. When the bill is taken to the house, we make the first reading, the second reading, we debate, we remove, we change anything we want to change. For example, governor will bring the budget. We can reduce, we can increase, we can do anything to the budget as we like, and they cannot say no. It's our right. Nobody does that. We have been in the house for going to eight years now. At least I have passed um, seven budgets in the house. So right now, the budget, the way they bring it, we call each ministry. They come and answer to us. We ask you, what are you doing with this money? Why do you need it? Why will we provide this money to you? If you don't explain, we we'll scrap it. There are places they put, they don't put enough. We add. And can you confidently say that you fared well uh, in, a, in a democracy? Can you confidently say that? Please, that will be your last question and probably make your summary and advice as you go. Um, I will say, really, democracy is the best system of government for this country. If it's well practiced. And I will say, as far as I, Anambra is concerned, I fared well in democracy. Because here, the governor is independent, the house is independent, the executive are working, we are working. Like governor, he don't meddle in what we are doing. His own is that he brings the law. Anywhere we pass it, he are sent to it. Thank like, you. for example, the governor has power to return it to the house if it's not the way. Okay. So, but still, we are working, we have, there's no problem 
you are, you, you are working and you are willingly working. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've been talking about judiciary and legislature in a democracy. And we have uh, Honorable Dr. Ike Chuku Ume, Ike Russia, member representing our Guatawan constituency in the State of Assembly. We want to say thank you very much for joining us in this uh, discussion. Thank Hopefully, you so much. Uh, when time permits, we're going to invite you again to be with us. I'm present. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you, yes. Well, uh, we thank you for really watching us in this program. Good morning, Anambra. We'll have to do it again some other time. Mayi? My name is Nonye Mopoye. Thank you so much for your time. Join us again tomorrow. My name is Theophilos Koha. On behalf of all those who contributed in making it a success, I want to say thank you. And let's do it again some other time. Bye.